Hi everyone. Here's a presentation of our paper, UKD, the biasing conversion rate estimation where uncertainty regularized knowledge distillation. It contains four parts, background, method, experiments, and conclusions. Firstly, we introduce the background. In online advertising systems, Post-click conversion rate estimation is to predict the probability of conversion after an 80-click event. And the predicted CVS score is a key factor in many applications such as the ranking procedure and smart bid. This figure shows user click and conversion behaviors in online advertising. If users click on an impression ID, they will arrive at a landing edge and then users might take conversion actions or not. Obviously, only clicked IDs have post-click conversion labels. And for the IDs that users do not click on, we will never know whether post-click conversion actions will happen. Due to the lack of ground truth labels for click on click IDs, conventional CVR models are typically training, are typically trained using clicked IDs only. But the models need to predict CVR for entire impression IDs during online survey. The problem is that there is a gap between training space and inference and inference space is called sample selection bias. The representative, mode, the representative methods probably into the SSB issue can be divided into two categories. Auxiliary uh, task learning based and counterfactual learning based methods. To the entire space CVR models, a feasible way is to provide reliable pseudo conversion levels for unclicked IDs as as supervision signals. In this way, the training procedure of CVR models can explicitly utilize both clicked and unclicked IDs. Thus, these models can benefit from learning with uh, unclicked IDs. To achieve this, the case are how to produce how to produce how to produce uh, uh, reliable pseudo conversion levels for unclicked IDs as well as uh, how to learn an uh, accurate interspecific estimator with both ground truth labels and uh, pseudo labels. In this paper, we propose uh, uncertainty regularized uh, knowledge distillation, UKD, which aims to the bias uh, severe estimation via distilling knowledge from unclick IDs. UKD's overall flow contains a click adaptive teacher and uh, that produces its uh, pseudo conversion levels for unclicked IDs and an uncertainty, uh, and an uncertainty regularized uh, student model that uh, can effectively distill knowledge in unclicked IDs. Specifically, we propose to formulate pseudo label generation as an unsupervised domain adaptation problem. Then, we, then the student uh, performs uncertainty estimation to pseudo levels for alleviating the inherent noise in them. This figure illustrated, illustrates the overall flow of UKD. It consists of a click adaptive teacher model that produces pseudo conversion labels for unclicked IDs. And an uncertainty regularized student model that distills the valuable knowledge from the teacher. There's a discrepancy between the feature distributions of clicked and unclicked samples. We propose to tackle pseudo conversion label generation from the perspective of unsupervised domain adaptation. 
where the source and target domain are clicked and unclicked space respectively. As is illustrated in the right figure, the teacher model consists of a feature representation learner, a CVR predictor, and a click discriminator. With the aim of making the feature representation more click adaptive, the teacher model, the teacher model utilizes, utilizes a click discriminator to classify each sample's domain. The intuition is that if a strong click discriminator cannot predict a sample's domain, uh, cannot predict a sample's domain label correctly, its representation is click adaptive. The teacher is optimized via an adversarial learning procedure. The learned representations from two domains are effectively aligned when a well-trained discriminator cannot distinguish them. Therefore, based on the click adaptive representations, the teacher is able to make reliable severe estimation on unclicked edits. As for the teacher model, as for the student model, we start from introducing a best student model, which is jointly learned with uh, both CVR and CTR estimation tasks. Our student is optimized in entire impression space to alleviate the SSP issue. The objective of CVR estimation, estimation task is following. Due to the inherent noise existed in teacher's prediction, the unclicked samples having noisy pseudo labels, which mislead the student student model's training procedure. For effective knowledge distillation, the keys are twofold. First, identify noisy and unreliable unclicked samples. And second, reduce, reduce their negative impacts during distillation. We first conduct an experiment to explore, to explore unclean samples and noisy samples. What difference will a severe model perform? Existing studies reveal that the in consistency of two models predictions, predictions on noisy training samples is usually larger than clean samples. We add noise in click, click dataset to obtain a noisy dataset by randomly choosing k percent of positive samples and convert the labels from one to zero. Then. Then we train a CVR model with two separate predictors and measure the average KL divergence on noisy and clean samples. The red figure shows the results with different K, and the KL divergence on noisy samples is larger than that on clean samples for each value of K. We can conclude that for clean labels, both two predictors easily fit the label and the two predictions are similar. For noisy labels, the fitting procedures of two predictors will be had to be consistent and they tend to produce inconsistent predictions. Motivated by the above experiment, our uncertainty regularized student, student model contains two severe predictors to simultaneously estimate severe scores and then models the uncertainty as the inconsistency of them. Best answer best answer estimated uncertainty for each unclicked samples will reduce the negative negative impacts 
of noisy unclicked samples during distillation via dynamically adjusting uncertainty-based ways to reduce their severe losses. Also, we add a loss term that acts as a regularization for uncertainty estimation. Next, uh, we introduce our experiments of uh, our model. We conduct uh, both offline and online experiments. Offline experiments are conducted on one public dataset and four pub uh, product datasets. We compare our UKD with some strong baselines. We use AUC and NLL as uh, evaluation metrics. We first designed two new metrics named the biased LC and the biased NLL formulas formulated as follows uh, to evaluate the performance of entire space severe estimation with only click samples. These two tables show the comp comparative comparative results of all models. Our UKD outperforms all competitors by a large margin on both the public and the production datasets. We further conduct detailed experiments to verify the effectiveness of UKD from three perspectives. The, the teachers' utility, 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 the students' utility, and the effects of uh, unclicked samples. For the students' utility, ut, uh, utility, we verify the necessity and effectiveness of the teacher. We conduct experiments uh, uh, to compare different model with with or without the teacher. Also, we compare the experimental results of uh, different teacher models. The first two tables report the results, which demonstrate the necessity of the knowledge distillation paradigm and the effectiveness of our click adaptive teacher model. For the students' uh, utility, we compare our strategy with uh, one representation method for uncertainty estimation, Monte Carlo dropout. The third table reports the results. Our strategy shows around two from uh, around two million two million of two million improvement. Uh, for the effect of unclicked samples. To show the effect of unclicked sample size used in the teacher model, we vary the ratio of unclicked of we vary the ratio of click IDs to train different teacher model. As a size, as a size of uh, from the first figure, we can see that as the size of unclicked samples increase, the student model's performance generally gains. That's our UKD base that's our UKD benefits from incorporating more unclicked samples. Also, we adopt different hyperparameter settings to analyze the hyperparameter sensitivity of our UKD, and the results are sure illustrated in the second figure. As to online experiments. On one scenario of Alibaba advertising platform, we observe that UKD achieves 3.4% lift on CVR, 5% lift on CT CVR, and uh, minus 4.3% lift of uh, on CPA. Finally, we introduce our Conclusion. The main contributions of this work are firstly, 
We propose uncertainty regularized knowledge distillation (UKD) to debias severe models we are learning from unclicked IDs. It employs a click adaptive teacher to generate pseudo conversion levels for unclicked IDs, and then trains a student model that takes both clicked and unclicked IDs into account. Second. Our student model performs uncertainty estimation to pseudo labels generated by the teacher, alleviating the inherent noise to reduce the negative impact during distillation. Thirdly, experimental results on public and large scale production data sets show that UKD outperforms the state of the art methods. methods. Online experiments further verify that it achieves significantly improvements on core metrics. That's all. Thank you for your listening.